First of all, I wish to welcome all of you to this fourth IBCI graduation. Welcome. Before we go on, we I wish to start this program with a kirat by Brother Ibrahim Tembo. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق إكر وربك الأقرم بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق خلق الإنسان من علق إكر وربك الأكرم الذي أعلم بالقلم ألم الإنسان ما لم يلم صدق الله العظيم I seek protection in Allah from Shaitan rejected one in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful read in the name of your Lord who have created created men out of a blood clot, proclaim and thy Lord is most bountiful. He who taught the use of the pen taught men that which he knew not. Jazakallah, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah, Shaykh. I now pass this microphone to my brother, Brother Dalton Kwane, author of the uh, best-selling book, Ubakwa, and also a trustee of the IPCI. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Brother Mtembu has recited the only appropriate kirat, I think, for an occasion like this. Um, <clears throat> we are very proud to be assembled here this afternoon to give certificates to those who 
have qualified in this primary cause in um, uh, journalism. Journalism nowadays is something that is very important for the Muslim Ummah. I do not think that many people realize the importance of journalism in these days. The cause that we are offering is only a preliminary cause. We wish to extend this cause to a longer period, maybe a period of two years where our students would be fully equipped to respond to the onslaught of the Western media on Muslims. People believe what they read and people are reading all negative things about Muslims and we are very quiet, we are not saying anything about it. We are not, uh, we, we, we talk among ourselves, we say this is not right, but we are doing nothing about it. And I believe that the students of journalism that are qualifying, that are getting certificates, have only just started. I believe they will have been encouraged to further this study of journalism because unless we have people on our side, Muslims, will continue to be demonized by the Western media. I therefore congratulate all those students who have succeeded in this cause of journalism and I encourage them to go further for it is them who are going to liberate us, who are going to assist us Muslims in putting our side of the picture to the general public. I hope also that other people will be encouraged to take up journalism. I, I am hoping that at, at the IPCI, a time will come when we will offer a proper cause of journalism, not a three-month cause. This is only a start, but alhamdulillah, we appreciate those who have taken their time to do this cause, and we encourage them to go further, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Jazakallah khair, Brother Daud Nguane. That was quite inspirational. I also wish to welcome our guests who just arrived now and also to uh, say a big welcome to various people who are involved in this course, and that is uh, Sister Aisha Mal, uh, Dr. Sultan, and um, uh, various others. Uh, we have in our midst um, Dr. Faisal Suleiman, a friend of the IPCI and a media analyst. Uh, we want to call him to, to, the, to the stage or podium to say a few words, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulin kareem. Amma ba'd. A'udhu billahi. Um, to the Amir of the IPCI, Mr. Daud Ngwani, the trustees, the staff of the IPCI, the lecturers in the journalism school, the graduates um, and friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let me first thank uh, the Amir for the invitation to speak to you. Fortunately, when you precede our main guest speaker today, Brother Brother Daudij, and you have a very simple task, because we know that uh, he's going to fulfill the afternoon with, with a lot of information and inspiration. Um, from our end, I'd just like to say, to, to as, as, as the Amir has said, this is a very basic cause, but what we'd like is, is for the graduates who've now got some very basic tools um, to start taking these tools and perhaps to start um, using them firstly to, 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 to go on to bigger things in, in, in a field of, of media and journalism. But, but more importantly, to, to become conscientized about the need for both activism and if I can use one, one word, it's all about image. Now, 
Um, I'm just going to use one or two simple examples and things that we can do from home, from work, or whatever. But I think I really, AB, or if, even if AB doesn't, I think most of us here don't need to be told that we need to get much more involved in the media. Um, we've seen, if I can give you simple examples, if you've listened to the radio, looked at the newspapers over the past week or two, other than the sort of atrocities in, in Rafah and Palestine, if you look at what's happening in Sudan and Nigeria, you know, the SABC, if, if, aside from the new, newspapers, if you, if you just look at the SABC, both in its local channels and in SA, on SABC Africa, has been there's been a lot of um, Islamophobic comments, experts called in by them uh, regarding Nigeria and Sudan. Now the problem is, as, as Amira said, in the absence of a rebuttal, whatever gets said is taken as fact. Because uh, you, the people assume that if you're not there to, to, to prove these things wrong, then what they hear on, on, on the radio or on television must be true. We've had the lack of experts, we've had the lack of research to be able to say we have an expert on Nigeria or Sudan who's willing. Sometimes there are people, they're just not willing to come on radio or TV um, to, to counteract or to give an alternative view. You've seen SABC, if I give you another example, using terms like um, when they report on, on the so-called resistance in Iraq, they use terms like the Sunni resistance and, and, and uh, Shia resistance. Now, instead of, of calling them Iraqis or calling them, um, you know, whatever other term we would want to use for, for those who are fighting the invasion and occupation, the fact that this subtle subtle use of terminology to already conscientize and to, 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 to broaden the schism, if, even if there isn't one, to create a schism that there's Sunnis and there's Shias in Iraq. So it makes it easier later on to partition the country when you've already conscientized people from the next six months that, uh, that there's actually two groups and they're distinct and separate groups because that, that's, an, that's a process of slow conscientization to the acceptance that yes, you know, uh, there is a Shia and the Sunnah and they really don't get along and it's in our, our job to really partition Iraq into a Kurdish and a Sunni and, and, and of course we know the divide and rule concept and all of that. Um, the same way the word Sharia is being used now as a justification for saying you must resist it. It's almost starting to be, from, from what I get, you know, you notice the way it's being used in the media, particularly with reference to Nigeria and, and Sudan, is that the Christians are, 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 are right to oppose anything that is Sharia linked. It's because Nigerians in the north want Sharia that there's, there's problems between Christians and Muslims or so-called problems, whether it's land or politics is of course other issues. Now, we, we not only do we need to be able to rebut this, but we need people like yourselves who've, who've, who've had some skill now in journalism to both further that skill and more importantly to come and help us with research. Now, all we can ask from our end is that you start to tell others to do the course um, get get more people to join in so that we we have much bigger classes than we've had uh, for this for this particular term as well as in your homes at school at work you know in, in your practices or whatever that you that you start to just even if it means picking up the phone starting even to, to you know to form a little network of other people where where you can learn get AB's newsletter there's websites that you're going on to educate yourself educate others and and just get people you know if if, if uh, I like to say if you can influence those within your arm's reach if you can stretch out your arm at home or your friends at a wedding and just look at the people around you and just start to conscientize people about the need to start being more more proactive and more conscious about these things. Then, alhamdulillah, even if you don't take a further course in journalism, this three months would have served a, a, a very useful purpose. Uh, so what you're saying is if you, only when you educate yourself can you then phone in to a radio station, can you then you know call in the editor of, of even SABC News or whoever, you know, Snooki Zikalala is the new head, you can phone him and write him a and say, you know, this is the sort of thing you, you're saying and this is not acceptable. Here's an alternate, here's a reference that I've, things like that. But it can only be done from education. So inshallah, all, I, all we can ask is, and of course, at the IPCI, we're now trying to establish a, a proper permanent media desk. And, and we'd really like you to start uh, to volunteering uh, with your services and your skills. And inshallah, you can, you know, contact uh, Muhammad Khan or Iqbal or myself. Uh, our details are easily available. So, you know, to volunteer and perhaps to start networking. Um, thanks for listening to me, inshallah. AB will, will now provide us with real inspiration for the afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. Brother AB Dauji has uh, recently returned from a tour of the Middle East where he has taken a variety of students and um, young people and 
families. families, and he'll soon be leaving again for another trip. He is a journalist at large, if you like, but uh, and I'd like him to say, uh, give us an overview of uh, uh, his impressions on what's going on in the Middle East uh, in in view of uh, the um, devastating attacks in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Chechnya, in various parts of the Middle East. I'd like him to give us an ov overview and perhaps talk about journalism in relation to that. Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to thank you for inviting me here today. Um, I've come because I feel very passionately about what's happening in the media and I feel very strongly about uh, the attacks on Islam. Uh, but more especially, I feel passionately about coming here because uh, Ibrahim Jadwit said that he'll have a five-course meal organized for me. <laughs> I'm very nervous about why he's laughing because I'm very hungry. <laughs> I spent the whole week uh, thinking about um, saying some uh, profound and inspiring things for my talk today. I must uh, confess I failed in finding anything profound and inspiring. <laughs> but Saturday afternoon is not a time for profound things. and. Um, in any case, I decided that I'll uh, go the easy route and pin some inspiring things.